lion voice. Tell them that's the people first choice. Lion voice. Make the lioness them feel nice. Lion voice. Be the lion cubs we sacrifice. Lion voice. Got to show the people them the lion. Lion voice. What do you have to tell the people about Rastafari? Light to the world. The king of kings and the conquering line of the tribe of Judah. I like himself. Hey yo! Hey yo! Hey yeah. Hear them high, hear the black king on the 23rd of July. So tell them guy who prays God up in the sky. It's a lie. The Almighty is in your life. Ancient times, them a try Them Romans throw them just up in the damn suit and ties Criminals ain't got no hand by They stole my people Then them come spread out them genocide Still, them couldn't kill The lion will come conquer to the tribe Go to tribulation, I your nice tribe See separation, I your nice still rise That's why we tell them In America, live Rastafari in a every ghetto area we come to tell them in a Toronto city. Greetings in that divine name of His Imperial Majesty, Emperor Haile Selassie I, King Rastafari. Glory and honor in the name of His Chosen Queen, Empress Waziro Menin. My name is Kwasi Bansu, aka the Chasmach Kwasi, aka Ras Kwasi, aka the Reading Ras, aka the Pan African Happy Man, and this is the lion's voice uh, first before I get into this week's episode this is episode 9 I just want to thank everyone who has followed the um, channel who has subscribed if you're following over on Instagram give thanks the Instagram is growing nicely um, if you're on Facebook following either my the Chaz Much Kwasi or the, the Chaz Much Kwasi uh, ecosystem page I want to say thank you uh, we're growing slowly but steadily. This, uh, the Lion's Voice vlog, is part of the, the Chaz March Kwasi ecosystem and we're building it out into uh, what will be a formidable force to help particularly young men, uh, young brethren in the Rastafari, in the conscious community to elevate themselves, to build their kingdom while they're stepping out of Babylon jungle. And for us, um, that is the main objective is to build a kingdom where you can be your full potential where you can live within the the, the kingly character uh, and you know have all of the things that make you happy in this life while um, at the same time you know slowly separating yourself from the confusion that is Babylon and for everyone's reference when I say Babylon Babylon means confusion it means a modern system it means uncertainty and we're gonna talk about something today that is so critical for young people and making a, a, a bad choice in this area is a doomsday uh, scenario for many people in terms of setbacks in their life what am I talking about I'm talking about relationships and many people say why is an entertainment attorney, an artist, an actionist, an author uh, devoting time to relationship topics? This falls under my actionist uh, moniker and the reason that we are delving into relationships is because without strong relationships you cannot build a strong nation and across all of the activities that I do um, particularly in the nonprofit space, we see the impacts of broken families. So our aim is to help, you know, the, the young creators that are coming up because I, I cater to creators. I think if there's anything that defines my brand, it's connection for creators. If you look across all of my different activities, that's the common thread. There's some some connectivity with creators that is in the brand. So that is why relationships are so key and right now uh, as i record this we're in the valentine season it's a big date night season it's a big courtship uh, time and i received the question on one of my other relationship i asked what topics would you like to discuss a young lady put can you discuss courtship and dating 
And one of the other things I want to say about this ecosystem that we're building is I want it to be interactive. So if you have a topic that you want discussed, then I want you to share that so that we can discuss. If I don't know the answers or I don't have the experience, I'm going to try to find someone who will do interviews. Um, and again, that is my brand. I'm a connector. So being a part of this ecosystem, I want it to be beneficial to all the people who are a part of it because without you, I can't do it. And I need uh, that community engagement. I don't want to be here talking to myself. I tell people my superpower, if I had any, uh, one of them would be my network. Um, some of YouTubers come on YouTube to build a network and I, I desire to do that as well. But I've been blessed that I have a network before I'm on YouTube. So I have a network in real life with many um, dynamic, unique, amazing people. And I'm coming onto YouTube with the hopes of exposing young people to this network because oftentimes the people I surround myself with are very hard to access. It's come over years of either legal practice, community action, um, you know, just being in the creative industry. Um, and for you, I want you to have access to some of the things that I wish that I had as a young man. So I said all of that. Let's get in to the topic. Are you ready? Okay. So the topic is dating versus courtship. And to, to do this video, I did some preparation. I watched a couple of YouTube videos. I went to YouTube University and, and I did some uh, audit on some classes. I'm going to put the links below to the uh, couple of the videos that I watched that just give a history of dating. And I, uh, and they talk a little bit about courtship. So I think it's very important that when we discuss these topics, we know the history. Marcus Garvey said that people without knowledge of their history is like a tree without roots. And specifically said that people without knowledge of their history and culture. And culture, um, as a creative culture, is one of the most important things. It, it uh, ties to identity, who we are, how we experience the world. So culture is critical when we talk about this issue of dating versus courtship. The other thing is that for Rastafari people, for the conscious community, these are topics we don't talk about. We talk about history, we talk about all, you know, we will debate about the Nile Valley civilization, we'll go into the sovereignty of Ethiopia, we'll talk about the conquering lion, we talk about all these things. We don't talk about one of the most critical aspects of building a healthy nation, which is how do I meet that person? How do I identify if I'm a conscious person? And I'm going to tailor this more specifically to the young brethren. Because I was once a young brethren and I think it will be beneficial, even though it was a sister that asked me the question, I can't really delve into um, the, the topic from a sister perspective because then I would be talking about things that I have no knowledge or personal experience of and I don't think that would be helpful. So this is more catered to young brethren. And in the first episode, I said purpose over the something there and the D discipline. So this is in line uh, with that uh, line of thinking in terms of do you choose dating or courtship? And I'm going to start, we're going to start by looking at a definition of both of these topics. So for dating, I went on yourdictionary.com. Uh, they... Uh, give the definition of dating as a form of romantic courtship typically between two individuals with the aim of assessing the other's suitability as a partner in an intimate relationship or as a spouse. The result of dating may be at any time lead to friendship, any level of intimate relationship, marriage or no relation. So you can hear dating is very wide and broad. The definition of courtship, this is from Marian Webster, uh, dictionary online it says uh, to seek the affections of especially to seek and win a pledge of marriage from so very intentional um, in terms of dating and courtship and what I also want to do I think that will also help to um, you know illuminate or enlighten uh, people about the two uh, things, dating and courtship, is I've outlined five characteristics of both dating 
and uh, courtship that I think we can compare and contrast. This is also from research, but also from my personal experience. Caveat, let me uh, also qualify myself. I've been married for 14 years, going on my 15, getting ready to celebrate my 15th anniversary. I've been with my wife over 20 years consecutively um, in a stable uh, monogamous relationship. We have also known my wife for uh, since 1996. So even though we had a small period of separation, um, long history with one person, I did have a time uh, when my wife and I separated and even before where we were living in the Gallus lifestyle and I tell people I'm a reformed Gallus so we do have some experience in terms of dealing with multiple women at the same time all of these things that define young people from the Caribbean African American and when worldwide you know the modern culture so I did live that life I, I have not dated seriously as an adult so I'll give you that caveat however I know many people and I try to study the topic because, uh, again, increasingly we realize how deficient we are and how much trauma comes from bad relationships and how this is affecting even our ability to organize as a community. So this is why I do believe that this is the most important topic that we can discuss or one of the most important topics that we can discuss in this time. So again, let's refocus. Dating versus courtship. So I'm going to give you characteristics. Number one, dating. Dating is uh, in the modern era is more of a recreational pursuit, meaning most people are dating to have a good time. They're not going in with a clear intention of what the result is. Um, they, you know, if it works out, it works out. If not, I just met a new person. Um, so that kind of falls in the, the category of recreational. Uh, on the contrast, courtship is intentional. So that means that when you court or people are courting each other, they're going in for the specific purpose of a marriage or long-term committed relationship. They're courting each other with a specific intention involved. So number one, the difference between dating and courtship, dating can be recreation and you saw by the definition you know it could be spouse intimate relationship no relation at all so dating is like a wild wild west courtship is more intentional it's focused um, and it requires a level of discipline number two the purpose um, and I alluded to this in number one the purpose of dating in the modern era can we be real the purpose uh, for men at least for young men is sex there's no really other purpose um, for dating for young men than sex they are trying to um, satisfy that itch um, the testosterone is revving up within the young mind and they're looking to have some dugo dugo we would call it in the Caribbean all right knocking the boots they would call it in America maybe these are old um, sayings but you understand where I'm coming from okay I was born in the 70s, love me. All right, number two, for courtship, the, the aim of courtship is marriage. So, um, or long-term committed relationship. So, you know, one time, one side dating, you're dealing with sex. Um, the other side is dealing with long-term relationship. And for women, you know, women may argue and say, boy, I'm not dating for sex. I'm dating because I want to have fun, I want to get to know people, but young ladies should know when a man takes you on a date, his aim um, usually is sex. You know, maybe not that night, you know, but he's putting in investment um, so that it, hopefully it will pay off in some um, sex. And maybe if everything goes well, then it will progress to a relationship, um, all things considered. But the initial aim is to sample the goody goody all right make sense all right so the next is three um, dating is very vague meaning we're hanging out we're not gonna put any title let's just see where this goes we're not really gonna define what this is um, we're gonna test it out we're not gonna put any uh, boundaries 
on what we're doing initially. So dating is a very vague, and, and you could see by the definition it can be anything, and it can also be nothing. Um, you know, and that is the, the difference between uh, dating and courtship. Because on the other hand, number three for courtship is that courtship is very clear and concise communication is there that means date number one both people are declaring what their intention is i'm coming into this um this thing for for marriage so very important or long term everybody's clear we're talking we're outlining what's your vision um so very important uh dating is vague and cloudy courtship very clear um number four Dating is typically a private affair, meaning it's between those two people. They are trying to cultivate a romantic love. And uh, for courtship, um, it's a community affair, meaning that you're trying to get to know the family. You're trying to, because you're, it's a vetting process for both parties. They're looking at long term. So, you know, you, you would go, for example, before I asked my wife to marry me, I went in reason with her parents and let them know my intentions. Sat down with her mother and father. They asked me questions about my intention. What are you doing? You know, with Jamaican family. They asked me, do you smoke herb? Boop, boop, boop. You gotta answer everything honestly because they wanna know uh, particularly what your intention are. You gotta answer these hard questions and be upright. So that is um, courtship is community um, dating is private usually unless you know it's serious then you would take her around your parents or whatever um, once you know it's serious but most a lot of dating situations never get to that it's just between those two people they might tell their friends and family um, and that is that uh, so number five um, this is final and I'll talk about another um, aspect as well after this is that typically dating falls within the secular realm meaning we don't to get into the spirituality talk um, we're just talking about fun we try to keep it light we try to keep it exciting um, and you know we want to keep it uh, within that realm uh, courtship a lot of time has a spiritual connotation because marriage is a, is a is founded in a spiritual union so every faith system has a courtship process and this is actually one of the um, things that as Rastafari we are now seeing that we need because we don't have a formal courtship system within Rastafari we have fallen to the same uh, afflictions that affect the wider black community and in the links that I provided about the history of dating you see that dating is a modern uh, social construct before the 1800s there was no such thing as dating it was all families and arrange um, marriages as Africans. We had our culture stripped from us in slavery, but we still, you know, were very strongly oriented into up about the 1960s, um, actually the 1920s with, you know, the advent of the automobile and people going out because before that you had supervised visits. You would go visit the woman in our, in our home and you know the parents would be there and it would be supervised but you know with the advent of the automobile people start going out um, to date and you know the supervised visit stopped you know hunky punky started to get more uh, normalized and if you see in the videos that I share you will see that these seeds were planted from the 17th century in European literature as a matter of fact in 1892 the year His Majesty was born there was a famous play that was released in Europe that you know talked about you know this idea of romantic love and really promoting the idea of romantic love over the arranged um, situation so these things were seeded in pop culture um, in Europe until they became uh, a norm and that's why content creation is so uh, important because of oftentimes the idea that comes in creative content today becomes a reality tomorrow so history um, reflecting art or art reflecting history that's always been a topic but this is why we have to watch as Rastafari we say words sound and power so we understand that the words you speak what you put out can become manifest and can 
take on flesh and that is what has happened with dating so now dating becomes a norm and we see with the divorce rate we see with the broken families it doesn't look like it's working very well this idea of romantic love being the priority above you know those familial connections that governed uh, marriage and courtship uh, you know from the beginning of recorded history really so the other thing is that um, dating is very expensive because when you're dating you know the average date in a major city can cost you two to three hundred dollars easy 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 you know that's one date some people are going on multiple dates a week with different ladies so it's a huge investment in terms of money um, it's a rich man sport you know some people are doing the Netflix and chill come over but but we do some things and that's also a reality but you're still spending money dating can be expensive courtship while there is uh, an investment you know oftentimes because the aim is not just going out and, and having fun it's a lot more uh, conversation uh, being intentional you know you might go to each other's uh, it's not so much about the physical interaction because you're really testing this person vetting this person to see if they're willing to be with you long term now let's come to what should we do as a conscious community as a Rastafari community dating or courtship I think you might know where I'm heading with this already dating to me is a waste of time for the conscious community um, because you are not focused you're not you know if you're on your purpose for for one spending all of that money and again I'm speaking to young men spending all of that money taking out multiple women is money that could be going toward your purpose does not it's not the best investment especially if you've not reached um, that plateau that you want to reach or if you not accomplish your goals that money uh, for dating should be invested in pursuing your passion manifesting your purpose so it's not to me a, a good fit now does this mean that you're a monk and you don't talk to any woman that is not realistic but the women that you talk to should be women who are attracted to you because of your purpose and that are coming into your life to help fulfill your purpose now as you interact with these women in the pursuit of your purpose relationship will develop sometimes it might be intimate because there's a chemistry and sometimes it works out and that woman will become your wife so even though it might not have started as a formal courtship um, your relationship was governed by that pursuit of your purpose and that should be the aim also I tell young creatives young uh, conscious uh, brother do not sleep intimately with every woman that is attracted to you because of your purpose some of these women are there to help you fulfill your purpose and if the if the chemistry doesn't work you could have lost a great ally that you would have had to help elevate you on your purpose but because you were thinking about that something there um, the dugu dugu you uh, went into this relationship it didn't work out and now you guys can't work together because there's hurt that's there there's pain and she was such a great asset to your development and your upliftment as a creator or, or uh, on your purpose whatever that purpose may be so be very very careful and this is where the D discipline comes in you have to vet you know your seed is precious your time is precious any woman that you are sleeping with intimately and creating these uh, bonds or soul ties you better be pretty sure that this could be someone that can be a long-term asset to your purpose because even if you're using protection things happen children can be born so any women I tell young uh, brothers unless you can see her being the mother of your children and your queen do not even take it there um, so that is where I am in terms of, of dating now once you reach uh, a comfortable level your kingdom is functioning it's working like a well-oiled machine then is a time for courtship for a lot of uh, men this is in their 30s early 40s um, when they reach that you know where you have a kingdom you own a home 
um, you you have property where you can bring a queen into and I advise you to build your kingdom before you bring a queen on board because having a queen is a great responsibility if you're doing the king life now if you are doing a partnership I'm not saying that that's uh, not for you that's for you this is king talk so when I'm talking to young men typically I'm talking to men that want to build a kingdom you know they want their queen to call them king and everyone have the right to decide the relationship that works for them so if you are a modern man you find a modern woman and you all have a partnership that works for you don't take this advice because it's not for you you guys can build together and do what you want you can flip a coin when you make decisions or however your partnership works um, that's how you do it if you're a king that means that you establish the kingdom might have been with the help of the, the, the woman that you court because once you if she's helped you establish the kingdom and you look and see that she's been there then you might want to formally start courting meaning dealing with her with an intention uh, for long-term relationship or marriage so this is so crucial where the deed discipline and all these things come into play so again dating versus courting i've given you five characteristics of each i've given you my opinion i think dating is not for the conscious community i think it's courtship because if we're building a nation the aim always has to be strong stable families the little um, careless dugu dugu, the gallus lifestyle, we see the outcome. The outcome is what we're living now. In conclusion, I just want to say that uh, we can talk more about it. I'll be doing more videos on this topic. Um, we'll probably, uh, when we relaunch the Patreon, which will be later this month, um, we'll put some exclusive material on Patreon. If you have any questions, ask the questions down below. Um, again, for the young men, stay on your purpose. And I'm gonna stress this because we have too many um, people who don't have a vision, who have not taken the time to identify what their role is and how they will give service to the Most High. And therefore, you're not gonna get that blessing to be able to sustain a relationship. Um, we're gonna talk about concepts like hypergamy. We're gonna talk about a lot of concepts that are you know, uh, being discussed in what they call the manosphere and different things with that, that I think are critical in terms of understanding human nature and understanding relationships so those will be for other videos again if you like this video um, share the video subscribe to the channel um, and become part of the, the Chaz March Kwasi ecosystem we're building something special here for young lions this is the lion pride we're gonna have different levels the super um, lion pride the lion pride different levels um, and we're gonna build together so while I'm building my kingdom I'm going to assist you to build your kingdom and for the Queens you know become a part because you might find your king uh, in the ecosystem because you're gonna find like-minded my uh, brethren who are about their purpose who are building their kingdom and you might just find some gems and also what we want to hear from you and share so that the young brothers can build um, I've looked at my analytics my channel and my uh, IG as uh, 70 percent male um, and we're talking about males from you know 35 to, to 50 years old is the bulk of of the men so we're gonna cater to that demographic we have no problem um, but again um, this is just the lions telling their own story and the time has come for the lions to tell their own story so if you love what you see uh, like and share subscribe um, if not give thanks for listening CMWE and remember at the end of the day this is the lion's voice Lion voice.